ship back your bags. that I love should be breaking the law. If I don't got it, I take what I want. My circle small like a round of applause. You know that I love the sound of applause. You know I mean everything that I said. Would you see me come and get out of the way? Back in the sleigh, back in the sleigh. Back and I'm better ready to stay. I'm doing damage when just how I planned it. I do what I want when I say. More than I that I hit and connect you to my. To live on the edge of his for being the best under the gene know that you're mess look at the dog all on my chest look at the dog call it a flex legends never die when the world is calling you can you hear them screaming out your name legends never die they never lose hope when everything's cold and the fighting's Deep in their bones, they'll run into smoke when the fire is fierce. Oh, pick yourself up, guys. Legends never die. University Rocket League Purple Team Swish and 4K HD Bomber and Keramik going up against Central Methodist University. Eagles already putting in a lot of pressure on here. Double commit there from Central Methodist as Nova now bringing the ball up through midfield. Good 50 from Bomber there, going to send it way over onto Central Methodist's side. Schmidt misses that clear out, but a big clear from Nova. Bomber is there. Shot from the Schmidt. Kermick is there to catch. He's going to control it. A little flick over THD Kiddo. Another little tap. The Bomber can't quite find an angle for a shot, but here's Swish with a shot on target, but Nova's there for the save. But here's a good chance for Post. Oh, a good clear from Schmidt. But a shot from Bomber again is just barely wide. Post putting on a lot of pressure in this early game. Great pass from Keramik. Schmidt gets there before Bomber. And it's still 0-0 despite the Eagles putting a lot of shots on the board. A shot from Keramik is going to find its target, though. And Post University strikes first. Three and a half minutes to go in game one. And Karamek puts it in the upper part of the net. And the Eagles ahead 1-0. Bomber on the kickoff. Good kickoff for Post. Swish with a shot. And that's going to go in. A great kickoff goal there from the Eagles. Bomber was a little bit later to that kickoff, but it ended up working out. Swish a good job cheating. And excellent placement on the left side of the net. 
And the Eagles now up 2-0, 327 left to play here in game one. Karamik wins that kickoff again for Post Nova going way up in the corner to get this one. Here's Bomber, gonna take her time with it. Nova interrupts the dribble though. Here's Kamek on the left side. Can't quite find a good pass. The swish is there. I feel like the ball has just been constantly on Central Methodist's side so far. Close you putting on a lot of pressure. Nova finally is going to boom it downfield off the back. Oh, not off the backboard. That was actually going in, but Swish was there for the save. And here's Kermick off the wall. Out of boost, though, and can't quite get a good touch. Essential Methodist clears it out yet again. And there's Bomber going to tap it over THT Kiddo. We get an intercept. Swish gets a touch, gets another one. A little fake. Schmidt was not falling for it and gets another save for Methodist. Good challenge from Karamik. Low on boost though, he's going to have to head back. Ooh, good shot. Slash pass from Swish, but Nova's going to take that one away. Just Karamik off the wall again. Nice little pass. Nobody's there for a shot. Gets a demo on the way out, and Swish is going to score. The Eagles now up 3-0. Great play from Karamik. Schmidt, Schmidt can't quite get the clear out. And Swish is there to put it in the back of the net. The Eagles off to a great start here in game one. Swish on the kickoff this time. Going to head over to Post's side. Karamik off the corner. Decent shot there from Schmidt, but Bomber easily saves that one. Swish with a trying for a back pass, but Nova fakes out one. Swish cuts him off from behind. Hangs it off the ceiling. Bomber gets it past Kiddo. Tries for another touch, but Schmidt is there. Kermit gonna take it for himself. A great pass, but nobody was there to take the shot. Inch clear there from Swish. It's gonna go for another hit. Bangs it right over to Schmidt. Kermick with a shot off the backboard, but there's Bomber. And the Eagles now up 4-0. Great team play there. Kermick popping it off the backboard. Almost scored it himself. And then Bomber puts it in. Is that better? Sorry, it's my first time streaming on this new setup. I hope that's better. <laughs> oh, here's Karamek off the wall going for an air dribble. Oh, and he's going to take it right in. Beautiful stuff from Karamek. Had a great setup off the wall. And Schmidt not able to get back in time to make the save. And the Eagles with a commanding lead in game one. It'll take a miracle for Central Methodist to come back at this point. But anything can happen. Swish in the corner. Schmidt gets the clear out. Bomber's going to take her time with it. Come off the wall. Good 50 there from Nova. Going to drop it right down in front of the Eagles Nest. A decent chance there for Central Methodist. But no one was quite there to take the shot. Good demo from Schmidt onto Kermick gonna prevent the shot for now. But here's Swish, can't quite get it past Kiddo that time. <laughs> nice word. <it. laughs> Let's see if Central Methodist can put one in the net. They've got about five seconds. A decent chance Nova off the corner. Bomber is there, gonna tap it up. Nova trying to keep it alive. It's still alive. But that's gonna do it for game one. And Post University takes it in convincing fashion. Excellent defense as well, the shutout. Five to zero, Karamek the MVP, 564 points. Two goals, two assists, and one save. We're going to be going straight into game two here. 
host university looking to go up two goals to zero to start off this best of five Swish on the kickoff. Pop it. Do a little bit of an awkward bounce for Karamik, but he somehow makes a touch. 50 in the air in midfield. Gonna pop it out to Swish, who booms it downfield. Smish, Smit gonna boom it right back, and here's Karamik on the attack. Great 50, gets it past one. Demeron Bomber, but now he's a little awkward for this ball. Can't quite get the touch he wants. Bomber, excuse me, Karamek going up for an air dribble. He's a little too high, but now an open net for Swish, and he puts it in. Good job by Karamek getting up there. Getting the ball where it needs to go. And clearing out the defenders. And Swish will score that every time. And Eagles up 1-0 again. Fun fact, the Central Methodist University is also the Eagles, so I gotta remember that and try to stop using Eagles, at least for this match. Shot from Bomber is blocked by Nova. Have a lot of power on that. Ooh, Karamik, though, with a little change-up shot. Sometimes it's easier to save those fast shots. Sometimes all you need is the right angle. Karamik doing a great job waiting till the ball bounces before hitting it. Give it that little bit more upward momentum. It puts it right in the top of the net, and the uh, Post University keeps on cruising here. Up now, two goals to zero. A little over four minutes to play in game two. Another shot from Karamek. This one's just going to barely hit the crossbar. Almost went directly in. Bomber went up for a shot there, but Schmidt clears it out. Karamek going away for this one. Going to go for a double tap off the backboard. Can't quite get it in, but Swish is there to clean up his mess. A valiant attempt at a double tap from Karamek going for the highlight play, but can't quite get it in the net. And Swish is there. The Eagles now up 3-0 over the Eagles. <laughs> Here's Swish on the kickoff again. Going to leave it for Karamek. A little flick. Beautiful stuff from Karamek. A little mini flick off of this kickoff. Cheating up Swish. Knew exactly what was happening, too. Immediately rotates out. Love to see it as the coach. <laughs> That's good stuff. Up 4-0 now. Bomber on the kickoff this time. Going to pop it over to Swish. He's got a decent setup off the wall, but he's kind of low on boost. Going to leave that one for Schmidt. Doesn't quite get a good touch. Nova going up for this one. Does get a hit on the ball. Swish has got an open net, though, and puts it in the top. No one from Central Methodist was in position to make that save. Great placement from Swish. And Post University now up 5-0. to 0, 3.34 on the clock in Game 2. Looking really strong here to put Central Methodist in a reverse sweep situation. Ooh, Karamek with a little dink path shot, and it is going to go in. Karamek doing everything for post right now. Putting that ball exactly where it needed to go. Schmidt can't quite pop it up high enough to make the save. And the Eagles have extended their lead over the Eagles 6-0. Ooh, but a chance here for Central Methodist. Nova pops it off the ceiling, but can't follow his own touch. Here's Bomber going up for it. And Bomber gets a piece of the action. Puts herself on the board there. A nice little dribble play. From the purple captain. Those pop-up shots are very hard to defend against. You know, most people just expect when the ball is rolling at you to just instantly take that shot. But it can be very effective to make a light touch on the ball first, pop it up for yourself, and then take your shot, which is exactly what Bomber did in that situation. Post playing a lot more fluidly now, playing with a lot of confidence. They've already scored two more goals than they did in the first game, and we're just not even halfway through yet. Oh, Karamik with a rare miss, though. 
And uh, ball's gonna go right into the net, and Karamik scores. Post now up eight to zero in game two. And uh, this is just looking really bad for Central Methodist. I think this is gonna be one of those games where uh, they just have to try to shake it off afterwards and just keep grinding. Ooh, a double commit though from Post University. But Swish makes it back a decent amount of time. Ooh, a little bit of pressure being put on here now by Central Methyl to see if they can uh, capitalize. Kiddo going to keep it on Post University's side. Swish going to pop it out. He's got a little bit of boost to work with. Can't quite make anything happen, though. And Nova booms it downfield for Central Methodist. Great save, though, by Karamik. Oh, and a miss by Bomber, and a chance for Kiddo to take a shot, but it's wide to the right. Tragic for Central Methodist. That was the best chance they've had so far in the series to put a goal on the board. Karamik going way up for this one, and he's out of boost. Just a little over a minute and a half left in game two. Karamik with a shot, but it's wide to the left. Nova with no boost and Swish easily gonna take that one off the top of his car. Nice pass from Swish, gonna drop it down for Karamik, but TH Kiddo with a great save. Armor with another shot. Swish's shot is just too high, hitting the crossbar. Karamik gonna catch this one and go for a dribble play. Ooh, but gets bumped from behind. Let's see if he can make anything happen. Gets bumped again from behind. Central Methodist does not want to let Karamik have any more time than he needs. There's a great shot as well. Beautiful pass from Swish. Off the backboard. And THC Kiddo can't quite get up in time to make the save. 9-0 now in Game 2. Let's see if Post can double their goal total from Game 1. Swish going up for this one. A nice pass into midfield, and they do it. Karamik puts another one home. 10-0 now for Post University. Coming out really strong in Week 1 so far. Looking very good to take a 1-1. And zero record head into week two in the winner's column. At this rate, you expect them to score uh, 20 goals in game three, right? <laughs> At the rate this is going. Oh, Bomber goes up for that one. A rare miss from her. We're going to try to take his time with it, but can make a good 50. Double commit. From Central Methodist, going to leave the open for Bomber to take a shot, and it falls in the net. 11-0. to zero. I wonder who has the most points right now. Let's see. Aramik with 1,098.6 goals so far. An unreal performance. Nine seconds left in game two. Some chance for Kiddo there, but Bomber makes the challenge. And that ball is going to fall, and Post University takes game two in even more convincing fashion, this time 11 to 0. I mean, just look at the shots 17 shots on goal, 11 of which were converted into actual goals for Post University. Karamik, the MVP, 1,098.6 goals, two assists, and one save. Meanwhile, Nova, the MVP, for Methodist, 182 points and one save. And we're going to head straight into game three here. And uh, it looks like Swish is going to be subbing out here for... Uh, Crispy, maybe? Yes, Swish has subbed out for Crispy here for game three, which I'm glad they did. I was actually thinking about telling them to do that exact thing. 
So off the kickoff here, Crispy gonna make a touch, send it over to Bomber. Just Karamik off the ceiling. Ooh, maybe could have had a... That was a decent setup for a flip reset. Good defense from Bomber, not committing too hard. It's right over to Bomber. Bomber with a shot, but it hits the crossbar. That was almost a really nifty play. Oh, but there's a nice shot from Karamik. That's exactly the kind of power you want to see. On these midfield shots. And Karamik continues his dominance during this series and puts Post University up 1-0. In game three, a central mistress must win this game to uh, keep a series alive. This bomb are going to go up for it. Gets another touch off the backboard. And Crispy with a shot, but Schmidt is there. Great defense that time from Methodist. That was a Pretty decent chance for Methodist as well, but no one there to take the shot. Here's Crispy gonna boom it way downfield, almost goes straight into the net. Here's Crispy going up for it, not gonna be able to make a touch there. Let's come off the wall, three members of post in the same area. Doing a decent job keeping the ball on Methodist's side. Oh, a chance for Methodist. Schmidt with the shot, but Bomber gets the save. And this match so far much closer than the previous two. Those holding on to a slim one goal lead. There's Bomber gonna bring it down the side, gets it past one, a nice little pass right in front of the net. And Karamik is going to tap that one in easily. Great play from Bomber. Gets it past Kiddo and Schmidt. And Nova was... Did not have enough momentum or time to make that save. And Post University now extends the lead to 2. 2.56 on the clock. Oh, but a great kickoff for Central Methodist. And Central Methodist scores their first goal of the series. Karamik on the kickoff and Schmidt is able to get the second touch and put it right over Crispy's head. And Central Methodist is right back in this game. Touch from Kermit, can't get it past one, can't get it past two, but Schmidt, and it goes right in the net. Fantastic 50 from Schmidt here. Off of Karamik's touch, he goes for it, and Schmidt just kind of pinches it off him. 78 miles an hour. What a banger from Schmidt. And we're tied up at two here in game three. Central Method is not going down without a fight. Got to give props to them. Maintaining the composure after that 11-0 loss. And there's a third. Nova scores right away. Another kickoff goal for Central Methodist. And now Post down by one, three to two. Schmidt and Karamek on the kickoff this time. There's Bomber, get off the side. Crispy with a shot, but Schmidt is exactly where he needed to be to block that shot. And now Nova taking it up the right side. Central Method is playing with so much more confidence now. Crispy, gonna try to control it. Gets it out to mid, but Nova's there and clears it out. Jeez, Kiddo gets the dunk on Crispy. Here, gonna try to take his time with this one. That's another touch. It was ready for it. Now Bomber gonna take her time with it. Nova intercepts that one. Here's Schmidt. Crispy pops it up. Okay, gonna get 
that boost for himself. Get another touch. They got to mid, but Schmidt is there. Only one and a half minutes here for the Eagles to tie things up. Ooh, this Nova gets a demo on Crispy on the back end of that play. Armor sends it way out. Nice bump there from Karamik. Ooh, gonna try to make something happen. Loses the 50. 60 seconds to go here. Essential Method is going to try to make this a series. Ooh, Nova got that boost. Going up for the air dribble, but great defense from Crispy. Keep the lead at just one. Nice bomber. Going to try to take her time with it. Passes it over to Karamik. Karamik going to go off the wall. A nice pass, but Schmidt is there. Can't quite get a good clear out. We'll leave it right in mid. Here, can't get the dunk. The post you scrambling a little bit now. Needs to put one more goal on the board. And only 20 seconds to do it. Oh, but a great chance. Karamik pops it off. And it's going to go right in the corner. Tragic for Central Methodist. 13 seconds to go. Karamik pops it off the wall with... Perfect placement right in the corner. I don't think Nova realized that that was going in the net fast enough. And we're all tied up at three. Game three could be going into overtime here. Nova and Bomber on the kickoff. Crispy goes up for this one. Does get a touch on it, but it's not enough to put it in the net. Goes up for that one. Going to miss it, though, as Schmidt takes it. And then this ball's going to hit the ground. And we're going to go into overtime for game three, if Central Methodist scores next, we'll be going to game four. But if Post U scores, we are all done and Post U gets the victory. I make it a good pass, but Schmidt is there, clears it out. It's crispy, gonna pop it up for Bomber, but can't quite make the touch. There's Karamik, as soon as he's got plenty of time. Gonna try to take this up the wall, go for an air dribble play. Off the ceiling, maybe. I like it. Gonna follow it for Crispy. Ooh, Crispy gets another touch to Karamik. Can't quite get a good touch. It's gonna roll slowly in the net, though. And the ball went exactly where it needed to go. Chris, a little bit of miscommunication there as Crispy did get another touch on the ball. Bomber didn't want to uh, clear that out too much. And that's going to do it. Post University Eagles gets the sweep 3-0 after a third game that actually went to overtime. Garamick, the MVP, once again, 748 points, four goals, and one save. Esports lab diff, maybe? <laughs> Garamick played absolutely out of his mind this, this series. But uh, fantastic play all around. Post University going to get the dub in week one. Uh, that was a really quick match, but thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate all of you. Um, we are going to have a uh, our first Smash Brothers match later tonight at 8.30, so make sure you tune in at 8.30 for that. Uh, that's going to be against Assumption University, 8.30 tonight. Until then, see you all later.